Welcome back everybody, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our let's play of Pillars of Eternity 2, The Forgotten Sanctum. I was going to go fight Sisnek, but apparently we have a new conversation path available with him. I skipped through it because I thought we were going to be fighting, but that is not the case. Once we load back in, I'll show you. Sure. Ow. Clumsy kitty, disturb the web. Capture the interlopers. Okay. A free kithling stalks the nest, thoughtlessly killing Sisak's clutch. What is this one's purpose? Sisak asks. The Vithrax telepathic speech is accompanied by a piercing shriek that stands your hair on end. We're gonna do the telepathic speak again. I can speak like this if you prefer. The kithling speaks properly. But its thoughts are clumsy, knotted weavings in Sisak's mind ear. Amusement roars through his words. The Vithrak lets out a hiccuping screech. No. The Kithling will use mouth sounds. Sisak will listen with his body ear. I'm just exploring. Sisak clicks his mandibles disconsolately, and his spined head droops. The Kith is a meal escaped from the Hoarder's nest. This one should have thought as much. Tender, juicy intruder cannot leave. Sisak must end its trespass. The contract says... Why are you attacking me? The kith seems confused. Sisak will humor it. The sightless eye watches over Sisak's clutch. Loves Sisak's clutch. Gives this one fruitful layings and sweetest, juiciest morsels to eat. In exchange, Sisak kills the kith intruders. But soon, Sisak's clutch will leave. This one needs only wait until the hoarder is grown thick and strong and screaming. Sisak's progenitor even sign stupid, flimsy kith paper that says so. We apparently found the contract somewhere. Give him the contract, this stupid flimsy paper. The kith waves about the dead beast skin with much enthusiasm. Let Sisak read it, yes. Sisak's eyes skitter across the contract's lines. The undersigned and all successive generations thereof do solemnly agree to protect this sanctum in Perpetuity. He begins to tremble. But, but Sisak gets to leave. This one's progenitor told him, promised him they only need wait a few more generations. This stupid, stupid paper says we must stay. No. Well, I hope that helped. <laughs> this one's clutch will no longer trouble the kith. We got the third eye and two thousand copper. Sisak is. Grateful to the interloper for showing his clutch the true reading. Maybe they are not so smelly after all. We don't have to do a fight, although we can try and steal from them. It may work. Yeah, They're all kind of looking at us at the moment. Keep it down. All we need is just a moment. Oh, no, it's like there's tons mm -hmm. of overlapping sight lines here. There's almost no way we're going to make... Well, maybe we can get to that one. It's possible. Not likely. Who's got the highest stealth in our group? That's a good question. Nobody. What do you need? Oh, we can actually get... Okay. Let's get all the way built up and see if we can get in there and at least get this one thing. What? Yes, nailed it. Alright. Where's the other one? It's way over there. I don't think we're going to be able to get there. We can try. Mm -hmm. Can we cast this out of battle? No. Darn, I was going to see if we could cast okay. that uh, speed thing. It's 
possible, but not likely we're gonna make it there. Oh yeah, no, that's... Wait, we can do it in the corner? Out. Not quite. Hmm. wonder what's in there. Would they be mad if we took it? Yes. Also, it's not really worth taking, so we don't care too much about that. Alright, so Sisak has been dealt with. We got the third eye. I don't know what that is, but we'll check as soon as we get out of here. Uh, then we're going to go do the other fight against the annoying child. The third eye is a plus three insight, 10% of hits converted to critical hit with spells. Amulet. What's white leaf? Oh. It's just plus one int. This is plus three insight. And hits converted to crits with spells. I mean, it could be good, but we'll hmm? leave it the way it is for now. So what I'm going to do when we get to the fight with the girl is we are going to you must do a quick cut there. And then we're going to do multiple attempts, because I'm sure it's going to take a few attempts to actually kill her. That fight is pretty tough. And then once we are done with that fight... We'll finish up with the rest of... Well, I actually have no idea what else is left in the Sanctum, but we'll continue the exploration of the Sanctum. I'll probably have to number my attempts on the... Sad child, but... We will kill her. It'll just take some time. She's also very powerful and kind of brutal. Anyways, I'll be back in a couple moments. We'll begin attempt number one. See you guys shortly. Alright, we are loading into attempt number seven. We actually won the last one, but Shoti died at the very end. Literally destroyed by the frightened child again, because apparently the frightened child can just kill people. Flat out. Was that trusty? Father? Which is really annoying. When she dies, though, all of the other spirits disappear, so she is the only one that needs to die. I think the other spirits empower her, though, so you kind of have to kill the rest of them first. Or at least most of them. Because she's really impossible to kill if they're just still alive. Excellent, we got that off. Now we are going to empower this spell, because this is awesome. If we can get this off, we basically... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, that's... Is that... No, do this, do this, do this. We need to get a barrier going. Are you not going to attack her? How did I miss both my attacks? I think one of the imaginary friends might have died there. Two of them are also close to death. How were we missing so many attacks with our main character? It's actually really painfully bad. All you need to do is kill this one imaginary child. And we missed our big attack too. I think our last attempt went better personally, but we're keeping this up. Oh, finally it died. Okay, two more of them died. How's her life holding up? She's still at full. door with all these imaginary friends in the way, which is, makes it kind of painful. Also, my game seems to be screwing up in terms of, like, being able to move. I know there's a web, which is causing us some problems, but that isn't all that's causing me problems. Okay, there's three imaginary friends up there. Can I put a wall on them? You might want to reconsider. Can you move forward a little bit and cast a wall on them? You can. Look at that. 
The fridge child is low on life. Oh. I need her back out of her shatteredness. Okay, then she's back. Alright, let's do this. I need a firewall. Move two inches closer and please just get this wall up. And you cast that there. She just died. What would, what just killed her? That was amazing. Oh. Finally. Eight attempts. My oh, that's easy. The pleasure. We got a crossbow called the Scourge of Bazello, which is pretty good. Superb. Whistling bolts. Multi-shot. Inaccurate, of course, like all crossbows. Unfit for melee, like all other crossbows. Holy crap, what a tough fight that was. That was... Well, one of the toughest fights I've done. I wouldn't say it was, like, the toughest fight we've been in, but... Now what do we have to do? I guess we're ready to go. We're gonna go back up and go you into the scriptorium. The we've done all the big fights. I am pretty happy about that. I'd be more happy if I hadn't spent like an hour and a half doing that fight, but that's okay. That is the point of doing Path of the Damned, I guess. <sighs> I just feel weary now. Not in a bad way, just sort of that, you know, that relaxed feeling like you're in a raid and you finally done a boss, you've trying for weeks on. Kind of that sense of calm has washed over me. Oh. Cannot believe how hard that fight was, though. Like, it's just a child, you, you think. How tough entering. is a child? She can instant kill people. We got really lucky that she didn't instant kill someone this time. So many attempts were ended. Well, like, a seven other attempts were ended because somebody got instant killed. We never lost because somebody Oh, we got overrun, or like, we couldn't keep up with damage. No, that was never how we lost a fight. We lost a fight because at an X amount of time during the fight, when we were about to break into the room or something like that, she'd get a lucky shot through and instant gib like Joti or... Um, who was the other person that died most often? Arkale, which is our off tank. A couple times he killed uh, Eltamar, our main character, so... Yeah, she has the tendency to just give somebody and then they're just gone. I considered actually continuing to play after losing Jyoti. I was like, you know what, we can just hire another priest, but... Then I decided to go back and fix the problem because I didn't feel like killing off of our person. Or something. Your party the Oratory of Wall. Back there we go. And then we gotta go play with the little sigil thing. I do have to say they really upped the difficulty of battles in this particular expansion. Slash DLC. The Oculus looks so cool. It's all spiky. It's got a lot of crystals around it. Exactly what I think a ray beam, a magical ray beam would should look like. I kind of wish I had its ability to shoot giant blasts of power. I don't even know how long we have on this video, to be honest. I'm going to have to check that, because I've lost track of what our initial video length was. One sec. Oh god, which one's the original? Seven, I think? Alright, so we have some time. We have about 15 minutes left. Good. I don't know what to do with this little situation here. Helder's Inheritance, it's called. Maybe we'll find more Heldier stuff later. 
Let's picture the key we received from the memory hoarder in our mind's eye. And we will sacrifice the knowledge of how to use this machine. A prickling sensation scales your arms, sliding into the joints of your shoulders and slipping up your spine and into the base of your skull. You feel lessened somehow as the thought slips from your mind like something you just meant to say. It flows down your arms and into the trephine, which whirls contently. The floor, or the floor beneath you shudders. And some stairs stared. I really think we could have just walked down the edge of that thing. It's not going to lower again when we stand on it, right? How novel. We're so close to a level two. I'm I, really excited to get my characters to full level you twenty. There, but I've got this uh, fear of being digested. You understand. We're going into the upper bowels. That's the next map we're going into. Sounds appetizing. If we don't find any more of Heldir's things for a bit, we'll go back and take a look upstairs. Maybe we'll miss. Maybe we've missed something. We'll see. Yay! We leveled up. Let's get our last level. So we'll get our last mechanics. We'll grab our last metaphysics. We have one new ability to go. She's just a straight up wizard. We get another level 9 ability. But what else is there? We only get one of them. Or maybe we get two now. We're very big into cold and fire damage. What do I want? I don't know. We don't want tentacles. We could grab, um, Great Soul, though. Actually, that's not very useful. Never mind. We got Prestige already. That's what I wanted from there. I think we need more at this level. This level 5. What else can we get? It's a cone effect, though. Hey, there's Tain's Chaotic Orb. Although that's our delayed fireball level, so that's not super good for that one. I do love Wilting Wind, it's pretty good. Grab Kalakoth's Freezing Rake, it's not a bad ability. Hmm. Could get spell resistance too. It's kind of a gamble though. This is the hardest choice I've had in a while. What do I want to get? I mean, we could just get the bow and let it fire at things, but that's not really super useful for us. I guess we can get Gaze of the Adrigan. It's pretty good. If it works. Um, she doesn't really need any other focuses. I guess. Bows? I don't know. I don't care. It doesn't matter. And our tank gets his last level 2 athletics for the second wind power and survival just because he has a little bit of a tougher choice to make. And for his paladin abilities, he could get something like... Well, I don't really need him to have him powers, actually. He's got his bonus there. Sacred Immolation might actually be really good for him, except we'll never get to the Divine Immolation part. Or the Sacred Sacrifice ones. We don't need Maximum Zeal. What Chandra thing can we get? I mean, we could get something like... Healy. Or even defensive. We 
we have any other defensive paladin abilities we could grab? Not that. Improved critical is not going to help him very much. He's not very good at hitting things. Hmm. I mean, we could get a sworn enemy. Except that's not going to help us very much now either. Oh, what do we want to take for our last thing? We could just get one of these and actually use our Cypher or Chanter abilities. Is there one that heals us? Like, heals AoE? Paralyze. Here. Will o' Wisps. Beams of healing, which are okay, but they're not great. Raw damage. Ancient weapons. You know what? Let's do that. That sounds like a good plan. We'll get some ancient weapons to attack our foes. He doesn't need any of these things anymore. We got the weapons we need for him, but we'll grab swords. He doesn't use a sword, so we might as well get half sword for an ability. That should give him a bunch more hit points too. What's his hit point, or what are his hit points at? 315, that's a little bit better. He's at 300 for a bit, and that's this a little bit so low. Much easier if I had my broom. So, I'm gonna pause for one- actually... Yeah, I'm gonna pause for one sec, I'll be right back. So Alright, let's continue on our way. So we are in the Consider upper... Intestinal track. We must follow. The body would not harm those who care for it. The body is not responsible for this wizardry. Return from the canal <coughs> is recommended. Think there's anything <coughs> left for reaping? Excuse me. That was kind of grim. He is Just definitely dead. Right, Brutish and reptilian blood. Kith meat times eight. Kind of disturbing. We definitely cannot go down there, though. I'm willing to bet that that is instant, irreversible death at the moment. So let's go into one of these chambers. Aged shark meat. Several aged shark. Why is there pork? That's just weird. Um, there's a door, but it is definitely a closed door with no way past that I can see at the moment. And there's a wall. Or no, it's a... I don't know what to call it. Like a... All flowing forth. A bounty, a shower, a torrent. Are those enemies? Or... Yes, the Deep Wrangler, Scavenger of Visions. Hey. Okay, we probably should have rested. We actually are kind of hurt right now, but that's okay. We'll be fine. You get in here, do this. Then you should go this way, and oh, there's a dream piece behind us. Why can't we use our abilities? We must be locked from abilities at the moment. But not spells. Okay, we have that going. Oh, we are locked from spells. On her. Oh, that's easy. I'm in real trouble here. Can we cast spells yet? No, we cannot. Let's put an end to this time. Take the gloves. Blood. This is all going wrong. This thing isn't. Too we need to reload. What was stopping us from doing everything? Like we were silenced from abilities and spells, which was kind of irritating. We're gonna open up with a spell of our own. I think an empowered. Actually, we could just go hide around the corner. It might be a better idea just to fight him right here in this hallway. 
Hey, dear, you pull. Looks like trouble. <sighs> rest oh, for feel, a uh, feel I'd be much obliged. We can actually even get a firewall going. Don't do that. Just stand here for one sec. Are you gonna do the firewall? Yes, perfect. But now we're in it or unable to attack and use abilities because of these things, I think. Now they have their own firewall. Let's turn back on AI on these people. Hey, what? That's great. This thing is doing the job. Can we find these abilities? Nope, still nothing. Can we use spells? Still nothing as well, except for this one. For some reason, we can use piercing sigil, but nothing else. It's making the fight very annoying. Oh, we can get spells again. Good. Still no abilities. There are three of those there now, though. Oh, we're silenced again, of course. Let me show you. Uh -huh. She's got abilities, though. She can only do defensive spells, it looks like. Okay. That one vision thing is almost dead. I don't know why she can use spells, but no one else can. Maybe because they're buff spells. Maybe we can't use combat spells. I guess we'll swap to our wand then. Oh, good, we got our abilities back again. How about our spells? Nope. Still nothing on that front. Ow. One sec, I have to cough. That was really annoying me. There we go. All better. And again, no spells. Come along. That was really painful. And he's down. One's dead. We could probably resurrect our main character. He's not quite on the verge of death, just close. You're going down. Our tanks are pretty good in terms of light. Where are you going? May I Fine, whatever. This is getting us nowhere. How many of these tree beasts are there now? There's Four? Oh, they split. I see. This is the perfect time for an AoE that we can't use. Hey, watch. There we go. Now most of them are gone. Okay, she can cast spells. Before she loses her ability to cast spells, do that right now. Yes. That should kill both of those. I've got an arrow with your name on it. You guys kill that one. I can't find a weak spot. Kill that thing. I'm in real trouble here. 
You're fine for now. Uh-huh. You're going down. That was more annoying than it needed to be, but we still got it. We might need to rest again. In fact, I'm just going to rest again. Alright, so what's in this room and what- oh. Yeah? Yes? Oh, this thing isn't doing the job. Our injuries didn't go away from resting. Maybe only one of them did. Seriously? What the hell killed her? Psychic torment. Okay. I did save after that fight. I'm pretty sure. Yes. Oh yeah, we don't have any injuries. Yeah, right away. Just walking yeah. over these things give injuries. It might. Will get you hey, watch out. Oh, feel, uh, <laughs> Just like that. Okay, now what you very oh. carefully don't step on those things. I think Stop. those might cause Please. wounds, Can't make a dent. or possibly just kill people. <laughs> Can't I target you? Well, I'll take care of it. That was weird. Oh, Alright, that guy's dead now. Okay. Now, how do we get rid of all of these things? We've pressed a button. It was for the outer god seed fragment. Not entirely sure what that does. There's a door over here. Yes. Which means we'll have to be very careful not to step on anything as we make our way into this next room. Closer than I would have liked. Need? How can you've got it? What can I do? I'm gonna test walking over one of those because I'm pretty sure those are what's causing the injuries and or death. You need? They do psychic torment. It missed us. But that's Something definitely what does that psychic torment thing. There's a caretaker spell blade. A few of them actually. Some treasures in here. Don't interfere with the operations of the god form. This fluid filled conduit shudders slightly as it pumps its vile contents throughout the body. Let's examine it. The thick muscles tremor and contract. The canal seems to flow towards the pit of bile in the northeast. Strike it. Bounce back in shape. Apparently, that did not do anything to it. Quite a few enemies in here. Now what are you hiding? I'm a natural. There's just garbage in that treasure. Nothing really significant. Some water. The alchemical charge is probably what we need. The god form of the glorious eyeless face continues to expand in the south. Use these devices to deepen the tunnels. Do so before the god form fills them, unless you harm their magnificent creation. So yeah, we're gonna be fighting these guys. We should just start the fight by killing them. If we start the fight by hitting them first, we at least probably won't get killed horribly. Hmm? Something you need? Just like that. One almost died. You go kill that one. Sure thing. Mo is there. Oh, no. that. Just barrier right where you are. Uh, 
That one's just teleporting around and being annoying. That one's dead. Kill the spell blade. It's the most annoying one. I don't kill the thermoturge. I always hit my mark. Go for the eye. Thaumaturge, sorry. What is it? And it's dead. Take care of it. Oh, there's still a spell blade left. I thought it had died. There, now it's dead. Yes. Now we can probably blow that thing up with that charge we picked up for... That we stole. Borrowed. We borrowed it. Place the charge and run to recover. And blowing up one of the things. Oh, gross. That was quite the explosion. One out of three of the tenderly pumpy things are down. I'm also gonna steal this one thing that. because we might as well. And this water. I didn't even need the water. I just stole it because... So we did this side. There's a memory siphon. Apparently it's just eating memories. There's also like a throne here. Cool room. Alright, let's go to the other side. There's another one of the goopy things there. It doesn't look like one we can blow up though. We're kind of out of time on this video. We're going to call it here, I think. In the next video, we'll continue on our way. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Others, next time. Take care.